Any scientist who publicly shares information that could challenge the belief systems of many will always come under public scrutiny and ridicule. But when you worked on space plasma technologies, nuclear fusion, and advanced space propulsion, and invented the microwave electrothermal plasma thruster using water propellant for space propulsion, people are probably going to take you seriously. This is the case with Dr. John Brandenburg and, apart from what has listed above, he has also worked for the government with top-secret security clearances on various projects. He has worked on the rocket plume regolith interactions on the Moon and Mars, Vortex theory of rocket engine design and the combined sakharov kaluza klein theory of field unification for purposes of space propulsion and Mars science. Brandenburg was also the deputy manager of the Clementine mission to the Moon, which was part of a joint space project between the Ballistic Missile Defense Organization, BMDO, and NASA. The mission discovered water at the Moon's poles in 1994. He currently works as a consultant to Morningstar Applied Physics. Here is one of his latest research endeavors. Currently, Brandenburg works as a part-time instructor of astronomy, physics and mathematics at Madison College, and other learning institutions in Madison, Wisconsin. He has quite the extensive background to say the least and is now one of hundreds of people from the inside with verified backgrounds and credentials to blow the whistle on our world of secrecy. The fact that so many people are now stepping forward to speak allows one to listen, corroborate, and connect the dots between the testimony, as well as the verified information that s already available in the mainstream, Mars presents the human race with a Darwinian intelligence test, and so far, we are failing it. Scientists cannot connect the dots at Mars because the resulting picture is too terrifying to accept. Dot, source. In the presentation below, Brandenburg provides evidence in support of an Earth like Mars in the past, followed by a presentation of nuclear data revealing weapon signature isotopes showing two massive nuclear airbursts in the northern regions of Mars. It is important to note that, at the same time Brandenburg was giving his presentation on evidence in support of an Earth-like Mars in the past, NASA held a press conference announcing that Mars was once a planet very much like Earth, with multiple giant oceans and greenery. In the conference, the scientists also announced that that Mars could still have flowing rivers of water on it, and that there was a good probability that life did indeed exist there in the past. A quote from the conference. The more we observe Mars, the more information we re getting that it really is a fascinating planet, from the Curiosity rover we now know that Mars once was like a planet very much like Earth, with long salty seas, with freshwater lakes, probably with snow-capped peaks and clouds and a water cycle just like we re-studying here on Earth something has happened to Mars, it lost its water. John Grunsfeld five-time space-flown astronaut, associate administrator head of NASA Science Mission Directive. So, just to make this clear, this is information that is well embedded into the mainstream scientific community as well. You can view that full conference at a links given below if interested.